Namaste YouTube, this is Ambi. Today we will talk about how to get help on PowerShell 6.0. So let's first run, find out what's version here, PS version table, hit F5, and it shows at 6.1. Let me run again, PS version table, yes, 6.0.1, that's where we are. Now, how to get help? Um, the command itself is first and foremost thing that you want to do is update help, right? Oops, update, not update, configuration, update, help, F5. If not here, you can launch your PowerShell 6.0.1. Let me increase the font for you here. And cursor size font. Let me make it 28. Launch again. I guess this is big enough. So, uh, update minus help. Hit enter. So it's updating the help. Uh, consider this as your um, a reference guide. So it is updating the library, the documentation about uh, the PowerShell commands and what all it contains and what all it can do. So fill it updates all that and does fail to update help for the modules. Okay, for some modules it was not able to do it probably because I have to run as administrator. Okay, so that is one of the things that I don't really like about this, but well, can't help it. You can't have all of it, right? So update minus help. Okay, so let it keep running here. Uh, till then we will do what we want to do. That is, once we update help, let's say get help, F5. And it tells me what all I can do. So these are the details of get help. Uh, you can browse through it, find out what all it can do. I am not going to go through all this because the motto of this uh, video is to get you there, not make i uh, know uh, tell you how to do it so let's say you want to find out uh, you want some help with the command uh, called dir as in directory just type get help and directory press f5 and you have the information here all right hmm. let me do this first whenever want to run something I want to put clear here so that clears the previous stuff and we only have what we want to run so get dir I can go to the very top and uh, hmm scrolling up get help commandlet I'm not seeing what I wanted to see okay yeah okay so uh, dir uh, even though i'm saying get help dir it's showing me for get child item because uh, this is an alias dir is an alias for get child item earlier we used to use dir i think uh, there is one more alias for it uh, i can press f5 again yeah it does the same thing but as you can see here um i think by better get you here so get help dir okay so this is what i have get child item and get help ls same thing you know uh that is also the same thing so if you want to get alias of some command right get alias ls so ls is an alias of get child item um then get alias gc Again, that is get content, not get child item. So this is how you find out more information about um, a command that you want to use. Um, let's say you want some more details. By default, it gives you some information. You want more information full. And uh, F5, that will run and give you the information at the bottom really here as you can see it's still scrolling down okay so here we are 
think the best way here is get help dir hyphen full functionality full so here is the full information then get help uh, dir i say i just want to look at some examples here right how to use it so here you will have uh, some examples get child item hyphen path some software key there example one example two and it will give you some information about um, the example two not just uh, a few lines of command so here get child item uh, minus path and this is a path then include mouse exclude dot png right so then let's say you got the command uh, you are interested in a command well let's say you want some more information detailed information uh you can do this get help um dir minus detailed right so then okay so i figured out a command i like the get command uh i like the dir command that is what i want to use i want to know more about it so here get command dir it will tell you what version you have of it um, and if there are any alias what I will do is go for another command, write host. So the version of the command is 3.1.0.1. The source comes from Microsoft PowerShell.utility. If you have uh, some PowerShell command, let's install a PowerShell automation tools installed from, uh, let's say, Cisco or VMware PowerShell or Cisco Power Tool. Then if you are browsing for that particular command, then the source here will be for that company for, but here write host is uh command from microsoft so it says microsoft powershell.utility mm, let's look at uh, get command another one hyphen module package management now here i have more options um, package mod uh here i'm not looking at a particular command i'm looking at a particular module in that module i have all these you know beautiful uh, options to manage packages just like in python or uh, from linux background you know you have yum and dnf uh, to man manage packages the same way here in ubuntu you have uh, deb right so hmm, ubuntu is a deb is a name for sorry package not the then you have another useful command i would say get alias um and then yeah any command for which you want to get an alias for and then get alias let's say if i do this get member it tells me you know all the member and what uh, member types and uh, what is the definition of it uh, you it might uh, be a bit too much for you now i mean if you're just starting off with powershell but don't worry about it uh, you will learn at a very later point of time and for day-to-day -day activities you can just google what you want to do and powershell and you will get i'm pretty sure someone might have already faced that problem and written a solution too so that uh, takes us to our last thing well before that i have one more that is hi let's say get member again okay, same thing it tells me string clone compared to what all i can do with it right again uh, get a uh, member is a gm you can use gm as an alias uh, so uh, the, this brings us to a last one that is search online that is i would say the best resource you just find out what you want to do and you google it or bing it whatever search engine that you want to do and you will be able to find it let's say i want to do let's say powershell uh write to file All right so you get some articles i would say if you are getting articles from stack overflow go for it uh, create an account there ask questions try to provide as much information as you can there so that they can answer you and you will get points for your questions when you answer other queries there you'll get points too so that is the best way 
to improve uh, whatever that you know. Solve others' problems with what you know. Uh, let others solve your problem with what they know or what you don't know on that, right? So that's all I had for today. Thank you for tuning in. You have a great one. Bye.